forgiveness importance of forgiveness and yesterday we heard a testimony a powerful testimony of a boy who how he could forgive his own father and move on with his life and it must have helped you so yesterday when i was preaching and preparing the talk and and when i was giving that testimony of that boy suddenly i also wanted to give another testimony another real incident that happened that is about a saint a blessed who is going to be saint soon from india blessed sister rani maria so i was about to speak yesterday but then since the time was up i thought okay i will speak today and i postponed to today and when i was just going through her life history today and looked into the calendar i came to know today is a feast and today is a martyrdom day and then i knew this is a clear sign uh, indication that the lord wants us to speak about and reflect about her life because these days we were speaking about forgiveness so some there are many people out there who are struggling to forgive those who hurt them some abuses some hurt some other negative experiences that they receive they are struggling to forgive many people even struggle to forgive their husband their wife children parents their colleagues there is someone else or maybe some neighbors some of their friends they are struggling they say father how is it possible you don't know how much they hurt me you don't know how deep the hurt was in me so there are people who are struggling to forgive if you see the life history of sister rani maria who was killed in 1995 recently and she was beatified in 2017 and her family members are still alive maybe watching this live streaming and, and her relatives and those who lived with her even her own friends um maybe uh, the from the fcc congregation franciscan clarist convent uh, congregation and many of them are also attending this live streaming and they, who lived with her so there are mighty brothers and sisters it is good to reflect about her life because she was one among us from our own communities and families so it will give give a very powerful message and lesson to each and every one of you that is why i wanted to speak yesterday but god wanted to speak today because today is a martyrdom day feast day so she was born in on the 29th of january 1954 in kerala india and um, she as i told you beatified on uh, 20th 2017 her full name was rani maria watalil rani means queen maria queen maria so that is her official name in her convent she received uh, when she joined so after becoming a nun after joining the franciscan clarist clarist congregation fcc congregation after joining that congregation and she was sent to north india in the mission area among the villages especially sent she was sent to bijnor and then uh, to indore udayanagar and she was in the format formation of the people especially catechetical catechists uh, for formation catechism formation among the non christians villages villagers and tribals and she was very active in the social work and also teaching them about jesus and leading them to jesus and showing them importance of forgiveness compassion mercy and she taught the people what is right and wrong and many landlords were angry with her because she was educating the villagers teaching them about jesus and many things education is something that many landlords do not want their uh, workers to have so therefore they were angry with her they tried to threaten her but still she followed jesus so strongly and she was convinced about what she was doing and she went on visiting all the villagers helping them consoling them strengthening them and also teaching them teaching them to to jesus so all these things she did 
and uh, when she was there in indoor and it was a uh, it was a remote pay area near forest and she was helping so many poor people visiting villages hours and hours working hard and taking care of the village girls and so many good missionary work she used to do and there were some landlords who were angry with her and threatened her but she did not bother about all those things and one day she had to go back she was planning to go for a journey i think it going back home for a vacation and then her two other nuns came with her to the bus stand bus stop and then when they came to the bus station the people said the bus is cancelled so they were so disappointed that they had to return to the convent then suddenly one of those sisters who came to send her off so one bus about to leave and the and then they went ran to the bus and spoke to the conductor the and said could you accommodate this sister also take this sister then he agreed and then there were three people inside and they had everything planned in such a way that their usual bus should be cancelled and blocked and this bus was prepared for her so that she may journey in that bus and then one of these there were three guys mainly one was the leader of that person leader of that gang was called jeevan singh and there was two other one guard for him and another one a third person is called samandar singh he was the culprit he is the murderer he killed her so uh, these three people were there in the bus and they took the bag- luggage of the sister marani maria and kept it next to the driver and told her to sit at the back of the bus though normally in india the ladies used to sit in the front side just behind the driver and th- there is a special seats available for the women but this nun was asked by these guys to sit behind at the back of the bus and she just obeyed it and then in this journey there were some other travelers also in the bus but when the bus was going through a forest suddenly this samandar singh stopped the bus and started making fun. in in all throughout the journey this jeevan singh and these three people were making fun of the sister irritating her disturbing her and making fun of her insulting her publicly and when the bus reached in the middle of the forest suddenly suddenly samandar singh stopped the bus made the driver to stop he came out he took one coconut and broke it on the rock on the road side and took the coconut and started distributing to everyone in the bus and he came to sister rani mary and gave and sister was about to take and then he took it back and he was making uh, fun of her and insulting her and then as soon as he was doing this as he was doing this suddenly he took the knife from him in uh, his pocket and started stabbing her and dragged her out of the bus and all the people in the bus they got frightened and they were so scared that they kept they kept quiet they all hid and she he was he dragged him sorry he dragged sister rani maria from the bus and uh, pulled her to the road side and started stabbing continuously almost more than 40 stabbings and all throughout the stabbing she was crying and saying jesus 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 she was repeating only one name jesus 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 she went on repeating the name jesus jesus but he did not withdraw he started uh, he continued stabbing and killed her and then left and they continued their journey when once they were 100% sure she was killed and she died and then they left and that early morning 4 o'clock the police came to the convent and informed the nuns about it they were so so shocked and then they informed the bishop the indoor bishop and then police also told the body is lying down in the same place nobody has taken so there are some villages around please come and collect the body and then the bishop and some priest came with the uh, vehicle and then they came with the ambulance and took the body and took the body to the cathedral bishop's house and there were some other nurses and sisters they cleaned the uh, body and there was whatever that was legal process was done and then she was buried 
and uh, her body was buried there itself her family members were informed all her family members including our old uh, father and mother and our brothers and sisters were informed and one of her sisters was a nun and she is also a nun even now she is alive and my dear brothers and sisters this sister sell me that was her sister uh, her real sister uh, her name was sister sell me before the death of rani maria some years ago this sister sell me was uh, diagnosed with cancer and then she was going through the sickness and chemo and many other things and she was in the last stage and then doctors were giving up and only some days were remaining for her and sister rani mari used to come and console her don't worry and praying for her everything and in one of those days uh, one religious sister sister therese from uh, the team of father matthew nikembrambel got a vision and said to sister rani maria and sister selmi both of them when they came to pray over and then sister therese told them the lord says one of one but somebody from your family is going to be raised to the sainthood of um, the catholic church and then the sisters wondering and then they said sister yes sister if we lead a good life we all will become saints in heaven then sister therese said no one of you is going to be canonized one of your family members is going to be canonized uh, in the catholic church then these two nuns they started looking at each other and then sister rani maria looked at sister selmi and said selmi you are suffering with the cancer i think you are the one who is chosen offer your pain and suffering for the salvation of the souls just like saint therese of lis you did so that you will become a saint this is a message of god you are the one chosen for that and then sister selmi also believed it she thought it is she and then she start offering her pain all the chemo all the struggles which she was going through she offered for the salvation of souls and she was in in kerala and meanwhile sister rani maria went to the mission area and that is when this murder happened after the murder though sister selmi was weak with the physically weak because she is going through chemo and many other things but still she and the whole of family parents elderly parents they all went to the for the funeral they witnessed all what happened so in during this homily i will show you some of the pictures photographs that was taken during those days and let me tell you what happened after this why she became so famous and her holiness and uh, all the uh, things that happened became so popular among the people because after the death of uh, sister rani maria this killer was caught by the police within 3 days he was caught he was put behind the bars and there was a trial and he was given life imprisonment and he was put behind the bars he was in jail and meanwhile this family family of sister rani maria including sister selmi they all offered sister rani maria in the hands of god and meanwhile one day when sister selmi was praying and sleeping at night and he was she was not able to get up from her bed and suddenly she saw a vision she saw in the vision sister rani maria is coming to her walking inside her room physically and she could not believe that she is coming physically and suddenly she wanted to get up but she could not get up and then sister rani maria came and sat next to her bed and consoled sister selmi and said don't worry you are healed you get up and you move and they they had a very good chat between each other after that she got up she went to the other sisters they were all shocked to see her moving around and afterwards when they went to see the doctor she was healed completely and she was in the last stages but god uh, god healed her through the intercession of her sister sister rani maria and this was a big eye opener for them and it also helped them to move forward more and more and then meanwhile 
immediately after the murder and killing the whole family came together and prayed they decided to forgive the killer they decided to forgive the killer and first sister sell me after got she got healed she, when she got the chance to move around she went to the jail to meet samanda singh the killer of her sister and she took the hand of this samanda singh and she kissed that hand and said from today you are my brother you, i accept you as my own blood brother and then she hugged him and forgave him and then she went back to the family and they fought for her fought for his case they paid the money for the lawyer and somehow they somehow he, they made him release because meanwhile after visiting him completely continuously many times by sister selmi and many others he repented he cried bitterly he touched the feet of sister selmi and asked for forgiveness and sister selmi also forgave him completely and her and also sister rani maria's mother elderly mother elderly father and also brothers and sisters they all forgave him unconditionally and then one day somehow they managed to release him from the prison as soon as he was released he took from the north india to the kerala he he was brought to kerala he visited the family of sister rani maria when he came to his uh, rani maria's house rani maria's mother and father came out from the home came running to the car and took him and as soon as mother the elderly mother saw him for the first time the one who killed her son daughter uh, 40 stabbings as soon as she saw him he she took his hands and started kissing his hands and embraced him and said i accept you as my son and took him inside the home and the whole family member and gave they gave a reception for him and they had some conversation they took him to the bedroom of her sister rani maria and as he was going on looking at everything the samanda singh could not control himself he started crying and out of guilt and feeling that regret he started biting his hands and he was uh, trying to hit hit on the wall and hit on the floor because he could not believe that he has done this such a dreadful act of killing and this poor innocent sister and hurting this such a good family and they have forgiven him unconditionally when he was biting his hands it was sister rani maria's mother that elderly mother who was trying to protect him and pulling his hands and and telling him not to bite not and was and then suddenly she kissed her kissed him and hugged him and consoled him and said we forgave you god forgave you now you forgive yourself my dear brothers and sisters these are of very powerful justice this is real christianity and this is what jesus preached all the non christians who are listening to me if you want to what is christianity look at this this is christianity i'll go i will show you some pictures on the screen and then you will understand the meaning and deep depth of this act of love and forgiveness and this is sister selmi and the dead body of uh, rani maria sister rani maria in indore in north india soon after the murder and just before the burial so this is a body lying down and this happened in 1995 this is the place where she was killed and this is the man who killed this is samanda singh who killed sister rani maria and uh, and after all his conversion he is the one who is every year every uh, remembrance day he goes and decorates that place where uh, he she was killed and then this is rani maria's mother kissing the hand of samanda singh and welcoming into their home with lots of love and affection she was going on kissing the hands of the one who killed her daughter rani maria who was innocent 
but still he killed out of revenge without any reason almost 40 stabbings with that hand and the same hand her mother was kissing and welcoming and she was holding his hand and taking her to taking him to the house and then gave him gave him a good dinner and welcomed him accepted him and kissed him and there was so many uh, this video is available in the youtube you can also listen to and then he started crying so bitterly because he could not believe that he did such a dreadful then the whole family surrounded him and consoled him and said don't worry we have forgiven you and this is the tomb of sister rani maria where samanda singh is crying and asking forgiveness and then after saying bid farewell to the whole family and he left for north india so and later your granny maria's mother became very sick late after so many years when she was about to die sister rani maria's mother when she became very old and when she was about to die the last wish she said i want to see my son samanda singh then samanda singh was in the north india he came uh, instantly he instead uh, they came very fast and then she held his hand and he gave her the last drop of water to drink and as soon as he, she met him and spoke to him then she died peacefully and along with the family members samanda singh also carried the coffin body of uh, that mother so uh, this is something must be touching our heart my dear brothers and sisters i'm not talking about something that happened in the first century or second century or third century or i'm not talking about something that happened in some other planet but i'm talking about something that happens in our time in our midst from our own families so this is real this is christianity this is the way we should take revenge christian revenge is this we forgive them and we will love them we will make them our children our brother and our sister and we will make them our own that is christian jihad my dear brothers and sisters remember this and understand this anyone who criticizes christianity and what jesus christ did to this world remember this this family was able to do it because of jesus christ the family of graham stains especially the wife of graham stains and his two sons who are burned alive in north india because they they preach the gospel they were taking care of lepers and some landlords some people some fanatics they came and burnt him and his two sons in the car they locked the car and burnt him alive and when his wife gladys stains came to know about the death of his her family her husband and children the first sentence she said i forgive all those who did this i forgive them unconditionally and she never kept any grudge and anger against anyone she witnessed christian christian love christian revenge and christian way of reaction therefore my dear brothers and sisters christianity is this if anyone has got any doubt about christianity look at these incidents there are so many incidents like this so many maybe we will discuss it about some of these examples and testimonies of people in in the coming days many sometime in the future but remember this this is christianity therefore if the christianity if jesus as christ has not come to this world this world would have been different with hatred revenge and killing murder and all those things there are some fake christians who are name say christians do not practice christianity i'm not talking about them they are not christians maybe they are in the christian countries and the christian presidents and prime ministers and christian but 
not necessarily the Christians which Jesus Christ preached, the Christianity Jesus Christ preached. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us learn this good message of forgiveness and let us follow this message of Christ and this will help you. And in your personal life, if you have any anger, hatred against anybody, look at the example of Sister Rani Mary and the whole family. If you want to watch the whole video, it is available in the YouTube. You can just get into that. There are some videos from different TV channels produced and real videos and real life incidents. So about this uh, Sister Rani Maria's incident and testimony, you can listen. It will be a great inspiration for all of you. Therefore, if anybody say, Father, they don't know how much they have hurt me. Look at this mother and father of Sister Rani Maria. They saw the killer who killed their daughter with 40 stabbings, but they forgave him. Not only forgave him, they accepted him as one of the family members. And they made sure, even at the last moments of her deathbed, she made sure to meet him and console him, hold his hands, receive the last drop of water from his hand. This is true love, my dear brothers and sisters. This is Christian Jihad. My dear brothers and sisters, let us follow this Christ. Let's accept the love of Christ in our heart. Let us take revenge of love. Those who hate us, those who wound us, those who destroy us, let us make them our best friend. Let us love them unconditionally. Let us forgive them. Let them be victorious. Let us be defeated. But ultimately, it will lead to the victory of our Lord Jesus in this world. That family made us proud of, made us true followers of Christ. And, we, and Jesus must be so proud of that family, so happy to see this family. Through our forgiveness, we can make our family members, make our Lord Jesus Christ proud of, proud of us. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let's thank the Lord for this wonderful testimony of Sister Rani Maria. And let's ask Jesus, Jesus, help us to forgive all our enemies unconditionally. Considering all this, what happened to Sister Rani Maria and the whole family, our suffering, our hurt feelings are nothing compared to what they have been through, what they were going through, and what they did to their killer, to the killer of their daughter. That is unimaginable. And in connection with what we have seen from their life, what we are going through is nothing, Lord. Help us to overcome this spirit of hatred and anger and fill us with the love of God. As we sing together the offer to him, let us pray in a special way so that we may be filled with the grace of Holy Spirit to forgive all our enemies unconditionally and make them our best friends.